Hello everyone and welcome to the Giant Axe, home of Lancaster City FC. We're here for non-league day and I'm joined here by former England captain and my personal friend Christopher Nightingale. I say it's wonderful to be here Ben. Uh, I've never been to Lancaster City before and you've got all the, the castle in the background. This is, this is fantastic. What oh. a stadium. Well, before we discuss the non-league action, I think it's prudent to talk about England's final friendly before the World Cup against Germany. Yeah, huge game, huge game, and a huge game for Stephen Sargent as well. <laughs> I can't quite believe he's still in charge of England, to be completely honest. Um, do you remember a few years ago we were at the World Cup against Italy and he, he decided, you know what, I've had enough with the tactics, and he went down to the pub. <laughs> What a character, what a character. I mean, I hope his re-up's going well though, I hope his re-up's going well. I've heard he's doing all right, I've heard he's doing better, and he can you know, keep a little bit calmer than he used to. Oh, good. But before we talk about that, I think we get some team news from our sports reporter, David Morris. Thank you, Ben. Good evening, everyone, from the England training camp. We have the England team hotel in the background, it may just be a friendly, but let's face it, it's England v Germany. It's always a big match. Here is some team news for you, starting with Germany. Neuer in goal, a back four of Kira, Antonio Rudiger, Robin Koch and Goosens. Joshua Kimmich and Tony Gross in midfield, with Muller just ahead of them. On the wings we have Leroy Sane and Serge Gnabry, and leading the line is 58-year-old Stefan Kuntz. A remarkable return to football this season, five goals in the last six appearances for Germany and he has really helped them out after their horrendous luck with striker injuries this season. He also has previous against England, having scored against them in Euro 96. As for England, we have Jordan Pickford in net and a back four of Kyle Walker, John Stones, Harry Maguire and Ben Chilwell. Calvin Phillips will play alongside captain Kieran Bell and Phil Foden in a three-man midfield. And finally, up front, we have the big unit, Stan Bean. Flanked by raw pace and flair of Sterling and Sancho. Brace yourself, this is going to be tasty. Thank you, Mazza. It's not wrong, this should be some game. Obviously, Germany have had a lot of problems with injuries up front, but they're still a formidable opposition. Where do you think their strengths lie? Well, then, they have a fantastic spine, do Germany. They have Neuer, they have Kimmich, they have Kroos, they have Muller, and they have the centre-backs, Antonio Rudiger and Robin Koch. And, but for me, out of all those players, and there are others as, as well, they have strength in depth across the whole pitch, for me, it's Robin Koch that really stands out. He is an unbelievable centre-back and a tremendous, uh, he's the deepest line playmaker in world football. You're right, Cock is well known for his penetration, isn't he? Oh, absolutely, yeah. He, he's very di Robin's very direct. He, 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 he likes to charge through from defence, make driving runs, and he also likes to thread balls in between the lines. Um, he's always looking for the killer pass, and, you know, if Cock starts slipping his balls in, we are gonna, we're going to have to tighten up, or it's going to be very uncomfortable for us. Therefore, we should just narrow our shape to compensate? Well, I f well, here's the thing. If you narrow your shape, that's great. It, it, you know, it stops him going through the the middle of the pitch. But Robin is also very adept at the cross field pass. You know, the 50, 60 yard balls to the wingers. So the full backs are going to be uh, have to be on it as well. You know, if 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 Cox starts spraying, we're going to find ourselves in a very sticky situation. Of course, the man up front for England today is Stan Bean. He's going to have a very difficult job up there as a lone striker. You know Stan, I know Stan, he's a big unit, you know, he's, he's a huge bloke and he's going to have to target one of the centre-backs up top. Now, we've got Rudiger and you've got Koch. Antonio Rudiger is a very experienced player, he's got a lot of game. I think, you know, it's, it's going to be a challenge for Stan to face up to that, so I personally think Stan would prefer Koch. Of course, as you know, I played with Stan for many years and he's a very physical player. He's the classic target man and he'll always, you know, back into defenders, try and get a run. And it'll be really interesting to see how he backs into Cork. Um, I think Robin will make it hard for him. And Stan's uh, teammates will have to help him out because uh, Stan's going to be receiving the ball as a target man and releasing it. He's going to have to do that a lot earlier today because uh, Robin, you know, plays for Leeds United, so he's a... 
a tad aggressive and the last thing we want is Cop coming in hard from behind. He will need the others to help out. Uh, Calvin Phillips has played with him all season. Yep. Um, he knows Robin's game inside and out and I think he might even be the perfect man in that sort of midfield role to neutralise his direct runs. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Phillips has been playing with Cock all season. He's been absolutely loving it. And the Leeds United fans have had a blast watching it as well. So, you, you've he's going to be the perfect man for that job. If Stan fails to, you know, take control of, of Cock's influence on the game, you think Phillips will mop up. And especially in the aerial battles, because Robin's very good in the air. And the last thing we want is a corner for Germany in the last minute. We don't want Cock rising up for a big finish. We just don't want it. Absolutely. Um, but I think we should turn our attention to the return of Stefan Kuntz oh, to the Germany team at the age of 58. Oh, it's, What's just, oh, it's just unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, who'd have thought that all the professional German strikers in the last 30 years all got injuries and COVID at the exact same time. Oh, what are the chances of that? <laughs> so to bring Stefan Kuntz out of retirement and to have him play so well in the last few qualifying games of Germany, it's just been amazing. You'd think for the likes of Tony Kroos and Robin Koch that having a big target man up front like Stefan Kuntz would be the dream for them. I've been watching Germany's last few qualifying games and it's like Koch and Kuntz have been playing with each other for years. They just click, don't they? It's just unbelievable. It's just like the, the, the natural connection on the pitch. You, I couldn't have said it better myself, Ben. It's just, it just, they were just made for each other. And those two are going to make life very difficult for England. If I was Stephen Sargent coming into this game, I'd be looking at Germany, pretty aggressive team. I'd be wanting to get in, get the result and get out. England will not want to spend too much time in their company, especially if they have cunts in the team. OK, we have to go to a quick news bulletin. When we get back, we'll focus on the England team. And we'll see if this is the year when all the jokes, sneers and oh-so-nears become a distant memory. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>